Hello friends, it's Miss Julie and today we're gonna make caterpillar bracelets. So let's see what we need. First, I'm gonna show you our beautiful classroom. It's waiting for you guys. So soon it'll be time for you guys to come back. So first, you're gonna need a bag of beads. One, a curriculum bag, and I'm gonna need these pipe cleaners so we can put the beads on. But first, we're gonna open the bag of beads. Wow, what's in here? So many different colors. Can we sort them out? Let's see. What do we have? Yellow, there's a purple. And there's blue and there's green. So let's see how many of each color we have while we sort through where the blues go. Blue, blue, blue. And we can put all the yellows over here. That's a lot of yellow. And wow, here go all these greens. We could put all the green right here. And we can put the purple right there. All right, so let's count our yellows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine yellow beads. And how many green do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green beads. How many purple beads do we have? One. <laughs> and how many blue beads do we have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I had eleven in my bag. Now you might have a different amount in your bag. You'll probably have a different combination of colors, and that's okay. Every bag is a little bit different. So, first, now that we have all our beads sorted into yellow, green, purple and blue let's choose how you want to make your caterpillar now that's a bracelet i made earlier and i think this one's going to be totally different the same way yours is going to be totally different hmm i put a head and then here's the body and then here's the end of the caterpillar it's the caterpillar's tail so let's see, what color could I use for the head? I think I'm gonna use this yellow. I think the yellow would look cool as a head for the caterpillar. So let's start with this one. And I made a pattern with this one. It went blue, purple, blue, purple, blue. So, can I do that with this purple? I don't think I have enough, but I do have a lot of greens and blues. So let's make a pattern of, how about blue, green, This one a little bit longer than that one. Um, let's do another. Ooh, green? Is green next? Mm, you're right. It was blue. I tried to trick you, but you got it. Blue, green. There we go. And then it needs a little tail. So which one? 
we can use this square as the tail. So let's see. I have three different pipe cleaners right here. And I'm gonna pick the green one because it looks like it's gonna, the caterpillar's gonna eat this. So let's start this one back here. I'm going to hold it at the bottom down here. So you don't want your beads to fall off. So, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, This one's a pretty big one because I have a big arm. So I'm gonna put the. <gasps> wow! I like that you can wear it. Or what I wanted to try out when I was making this bracelet was I like this paper. I went and got I have some markers right here. I went and got some markers. And I can use my caterpillar bracelet and pretend it's a real caterpillar. Let's make some leaves. And let's see, what else does a caterpillar like to be on? Because caterpillar do like to have big leaves to be on. Draw some leaves as you please. Um, and caterpillars also love to be near flowers. So how about make a beautiful purple flower? This caterpillar wants to eat some of these beads. Maybe these beads can be flowers for the caterpillar to eat. See how many blue beads can they eat? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That caterpillar ate all of those beads. What are you gonna do with your caterpillar? Now that it's finished, 
eating all those beads up. It's time to wear it and get ready to go. It matches my outfit too. I have a caterpillar on my left arm. Let me put you on my left arm. And a caterpillar on my right. And that is how you make a bug bracelet. What other bugs do you think that you can make with your bracelet? I hope you enjoyed yourself and I hope to see all the beautiful things that you guys made. So make sure you email us a picture and I hope you have a great day and we will see you very, very soon. Bye.